Welcome to this year's video on the conference budget. I'm Diane Knudsen, Executive Director of Finance and Administration. Every year during annual conference, the plenary session votes on a budget recommendation brought by the Council on Finance and Administration. In this brief video, I'll describe the process for creating that budget proposal. Our first step is to find the size of the pie. In our annual conference, we have a ceiling on how big the total conference budget can be. As most of you know, churches are expected to tithe 10% of their operating income. So the budget can't be bigger than 10% of the operating income of all the churches added together. To find this number, I go to the website where every United Methodist Church inputs its financial and membership data every year. This is the Ezra website created by the denomination. Here I can see that 97% of our churches got their statistics submitted in 2017. Here resides all the membership, expense, and income information for every United Methodist Church. I'm just interested in 2017 income data today. To demonstrate, I've selected one church, the Elk Grove United Methodist Church. I'm scrolling down the data it has input for 2017 to get to the total operating income line of $323,010. I download this operating income number for every church, total it to get the total operating income of all of our churches, then take that times 10%. That's how much we would have collected in 2017 if, ev if every church had tithed. Now it becomes the ceiling for our 2019 conference budget proposal. Now we go to the actual budget recommendation. The first column on the left shows our actual costs for 2017. The next column over shows the budget passed by the annual conference last year for 2018. The next column shows the 2018 spending plan approved by CFA to make sure we don't spend more than we receive. Finally, the 2019 budget column is the column you'll be voting on in a few weeks at annual conference. Here's the total budget number we calculated in that first step of the process. Total operating income of our churches was over $64 million last year. A tithe of that was this number, $6,476,000. So what should we spend it on? We start by inputting 100% of the general and jurisdictional apportionments, lines 7 through 15. They total $2.1 million for 2019. It's important to remember that these lines can't be changed at annual conference. General and jurisdictional apportionments represent about a third of our conference budget, which is typical for all annual conferences. Usually, the next budgeting step is to review staffing and compensation levels. While not a fixed cost, we don't really want to be adding or subtracting staff every year. So the Personnel Committee and the Human Resources Management Team think through the long-term staffing priorities for this organization. We strive to budget a cost of living increase, so we start by adding that in. In this year's budget proposal, staff costs represent 43% of the total budget. Your church's budget probably includes an even higher percentage for staff. Add that 43% on staff and the 33% for general church apportionments, and we've already accounted for over three quarters of the total budget. Now we have a lot to accomplish with that last $1.6 million of the budget. All of our non-staff missional costs for our mission-focused areas clergy specific costs, and then our administrative and facilities costs, including the cost of annual conference itself. The Council on Finance and Administration receives budget requests for all of these areas and balances our needs to keep the total budget proposal within that grand total. 
Thank you for taking this time to understand the conference budget. If you have any questions, please email them to me at dianek at calnavumc.org. I look forward to seeing you in Modesto.